this Jin's kitchen bloke? No, he's a he's a jerk. I'm the real one. Is this a real Haku? Is real Pokey? So Haku stole Pokey's captain boat, and Pokey got upset, and he decided to steal my chair. So I'm gonna be like this for a while. Pokey's my new husband now. <laughs> Quick update on our merch before we start. We have updated dates on like the latest day that you can buy a product and have it arrive by Christmas if you are in the US. And um, everything has been moved up because the mail system is getting more and more backed up, I guess. So uh, the latest day you can buy bags or mugs and have it arrive by Christmas is today. Sorry for the last minute notice. <laughs> and the latest day for everything else is now December 11th. All right, let's do it. Q&A. How much house do you have? We have zero house. <laughs> We're trying to get one. We have no house. Why do they want to move? Didn't they move one year ago? Good question. We moved two years ago, almost, to Fukuoka into an apartment, which we love. It's really wonderful here. It's a great place, but it's an apartment, so we can't put up cat shelves on the walls. If our cats make noise, I don't want it to bother our downstairs neighbors. And it's like noisy outside. We want a yard. Yeah, also I personally find um, paying the rent is mm. a waste, you know? Houses do depreciate in value here, but there's still some value in them, especially if we're building a nice house. Yeah, so, we will get to own it, so why not? <laughs> why not just move one of the trees? Asked 500 million people on our last video. I think, I think just by uploading that video, we somehow made our decision. So we know what we want. Uh, I drew a picture of it in paint. It's gonna look kind of like this, except real life. The moon and the star are actual cat shelf products that we want to buy. They better still be making them a year from now. Maybe we should just get it now before they get, you know, stop selling them. I really am trying to not accumulate things for our new house into this apartment before we move. How do you keep the sliding cat room pokey proof? I don't know. <laughs> I think that that sliding door is going to slide into a wall so he won't be able to get his paws around the side. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'll have to figure it out. Yeah. Aren't laundry chutes massive fire hazards? Bob Vila? Wait, is Bob Vila still alive? Bob Vila is only 74! Hi, I'm Bob Vila. Welcome to this old house. He was an old dude when I was a kid. Or maybe I just thought he was an old dude because I was a kid. He says technically a stairway acts the same as a laundry chute in this case. And also we're gonna have a Fukinuke where the ceiling is open to the second floor. So probably no. Our house is gonna be very, very fire resistant. Anyway, the entire outside of the house is like concrete. Have you considered resale value at all? When you're moving out, what will new people who hate cats do with a cat room? I mean, technically we are trying to kind of make it look like a Nakaniwa as well, even though there was no natural light in that room, but. I am planning to live in that house for the rest of my life, so I don't care. It's, it's <laughs> our house, like we're planning on staying there. Um, also, all houses in Japan lose value, like they depreciate over time no matter what anyway. Mm. Buying a house here is not an investment. And what's the point of building... Poka! Building... What's the point of building your own custom house if you're just gonna build it based off of what you think other people would like? At that point, why not just buy an already built house because that would be way cheaper. Also, there are Japanese houses that have been built for cats. Our housing maker has a whole section on stuff you can do for cats. I think They're... most housing makers in Japan have those something for your dog or cats or pets. They're putting the cat shells <clears throat> on the walls for us. Like they do that as part of their <laughs> job. There are special apartments in Japan that are built just for people who have pets. Like the doors have pet doors in them and whatnot. So it's not that unusual to have a house designed with your pets in mind. Why do you have so many channels? I have one cooking channel, Jin's Kitchen. That guy's a dick, but <laughs> this is the real Jin's Kitchen I'm talking about here. I'm confusing the people. <laughs> anyway, one cooking channel. I can't really upload very frequently, very often. So I made a um, vlog channel. The same here for RJ, main channel and vlog channel, which you're doing now. Both of us work on all of our channels, but you can kind of separate it into 
Jeans has his own main channel and vlog channel, and I, I have take my own. I normally take cooking channels, and thus you will edit. And... and I have my own main channel and vlog channel. And the difference between the main channel and the vlog channel is main videos take a long time to make. Like we have to do scripts or plans. It can take days and days and days of filming. It can take a really long time to edit. It requires a lot of planning. Whereas a vlog is just whatever we feel like doing. And it's more fun like that. It's more like our creative outlet. I see your hair is getting a little wavy. Again, Rachel, have you stopped getting the straight perms? Yes, I haven't had a straight perm in several years. I'm really enjoying making my hair uh, wavy again. I can make a vlog video about how I do my hair <laughs> Someone wants to go out. <laughs> I'm so used to him screaming, I just block it out of my brain and I just keep talking around him. Any tips for training a very vocal cat into being quieter? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you have any tips? Do you guys have a TikTok? No, I tried to make one, but then I found out both of our channel usernames um, have already been taken and then really? people uploaded our content to them. So that's the fake gin. And then, and, then, and then I was like, hey TikTok, um, is there anything you can do about this? And TikTok was like, if I move to Fukuoka, can I be your friend so I can go to those fun cooking slash gaming parties? Uh, well, actually, almost all of our friends here in Fukuoka are people we met through our beach cleanups. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah other than... I, I met Michaela through YouTube. I met Sunny and Joe because Sunny contacted us, right? Sunny tweeted me and she was like, Hi, I just moved to Fukuoka too, and me and my husband like cats and playing video games. Wanna hang out sometime? And I was like, Yeah. So I met an, a stranger off the internet, and now she's my friend. <laughs> and then everyone else we met through cleanup stuff. Yeah. So maybe. If you move here, maybe. To be serious, like meeting people through YouTube has been one of the most enjoyable parts of doing YouTube for me. Um, like that time we went to the Netherlands and the company we went with totally screwed up things and never picked us up and then we just had to tweet out um, like, hey, anyone near this tiny city in the Netherlands wanna hang out? Cause we don't got nowhere to go. And then Ronald came and saved our lives and we met Thank Romy so much, and Walter and everyone else. It was amazing. That's one of my best memories ever. Are you guys married? Are we? No. <laughs> Take this back, I don't want it. Take it. Is it just me or are Rachel's eyebrows a little too dark this time? Is it? Wow. <laughs> it looks very like, strong. Sun is in my eyes now. I think if I practice, I could learn how to do the worm with my eyebrows. Am I doing it? I don't know. <laughs> how much would an apartment cost in Tokyo if I buy one? If you buy one? Buy? Not rent? I'm gonna do rent. somewhere between $140 a month and $28,000 a month. Hope that helps. Do you have to register your cats to your local government? I just learned that you have to do that with dogs. How are things for cats? In Japan. Do you have to register your dog with the government? I personally have never owned a dog, so I don't know about cats. No, I don't think I did. <laughs> can, can, can you imagine this going up to like the local Show and then being like, Hi, this is my cat. This is Pokey. I'm letting you guys know I got a cat. Here you go. Can you register him? His name is Pokey. I don't know. That'll be a fun job to do. Pokey? I don't know anything about registering pets in Japan. Are cats illegal? Pokey, are you an illegal cat? Where are you from? I'm from a mountain. Shh, put him in the closet. Don't let anyone see him. So, how often are you worried about toxoplasmosis? Very often. I worry about toxoplasmosis, not at all, sorry, ever. Sorry, what is that? Do you know what it is? I don't think so. <laughs> June also worries about it, not at all, because he doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> Toxoplasma? Yeah. Toxoplasma gondi, is that it? The parasite from cats that- Oh. I 
don't think I'm worried. Hi, I know there is a very small chance that Gina Rich will see, but maybe someone from the comments can answer my question. Do you know why they feed their cats only kibble? From what I learned about cat care, you're not really supposed to feed cats anything besides wet food, preferably 100% meat, maybe with exception to eggs, dried meat, and like I always found Gina Rich will be excellent pet owners, but the way they choose to feed their cats doesn't sit right with me. Um, wow, so, good job. <laughs> so some people have asked why do we feed our cats dry kibble food when we take care of them so well in every other way. The main issue with dried kibble food from what I was able to find was mainly that it didn't have a high enough protein count, too many um, grains in it which are not great for cats and like maybe stuff like it's too dry they need more water, uh, other things. We use a Japanese brand of cat food called Ronnie. They also have one called Elizabeth. The Ronnie one is with chicken, the Elizabeth one is with salmon. Um, not sponsored by them or affiliated with them in any way. They've, but I'm happy to. I would love to <laughs> because our cats freaking go crazy for this. This feels like a sponsorship. I swear it's not. <laughs> but I'll be happy to. We also recommended this to one of our friends. He got this for his cat as well and she stopped eating all of her really fancy expensive food that he got and she only eats this now um our cats go crazy for it uh it's 66 percent chicken they've got a whole page in english so you can read about it but it's like no grains 66 percent um chicken uh lots of ingredients very thoughtfully picked based on the nutrition that cats need we think it's very good for cats and we still add water to it to make our cats also get enough water because dehydration we make them drink a lot of water dehydration can cause a lot of issues for cats in the long run we don't feed our cats treats because it usually ends up upsetting at least one of their stomachs but even if we offer them treats or this they will choose this they will not eat the treats this is the only thing they're interested in. And that's why I can use this as treats for like making them jump over toilet paper rolls or whatever. They will do anything for this food. <laughs> that's why we feed them dry kibble. But uh, we're always open to hearing uh, more information about what's best for our cats. If we found out about something else being better, then like we would switch to that. We just, for us, we think this is the best thing we can give to our cats right now. Let me ask the question that people are too shy to ask. Are you guys trying to replace having actual children with owning cats? At a certain point, owning that many cats becomes sad. Yeah, we were very sad people. <laughs> Make me happy, you my many cats. You must fill the void in my heart that exists because I do not have children. There is nothing worse in a woman's life than to be barren and childless. The sole purpose of the existence of humans is to breed. What is a woman? Without a womb. <laughs> Seriously though? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I just we just like cats. Do people in Japan pronounce IKEA as IKEA? I've only heard it pronounced IKEA. Hmm. IKEA. IKEA. So we made a video about IKEA a long time ago, and then a lot of people from Sweden were like, "Wow, Japanese people pronounce it almost the way that it's supposed to be pronounced. Americans pronounce it IKEA, which is not accurate." So. Since they told me that, I've been doing my best to try to pronounce it Ikea from then on. Especially since I'm in Japan and that's what it's called here anyway. So, Why did you guys abandon your channel with 2.5 million subs? We didn't abandon it. Like there's a lot of different reasons for why we haven't uploaded for a year. Here's the Rachel TMI conversation that you've all been waiting for. I haven't had a TMI conversation in a few months now. What does TMI <laughs> Too much information. Uh, too much information. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like, Make it quick. Yeah, so you guys know I was dealing with depression before we moved to Fukuoka and then I was getting really, really good and then Corona happened and I think I overcompensated trying to be safe and I like didn't leave our apartment for like a month. Just nosedived my mental health. It's been a rough year. Those videos take a lot of time and effort and not only that, but I wanna make them fun and silly and entertaining and to be silly and entertaining, you have to be in a good mood yourself. And this year, I backslid hard into depression. It was really bad. Like, it went from like me being happy, and then one month later, I was like, there's no point in existence. 
I don't film videos anymore unless I feel like I'm in the mood to film them. If I put myself in front of the camera and like try to pretend I'm happy, it never goes well. The last time I did that was when June on his June's Kitchen channel made me a surprise birthday gift and people were so angry at my reaction because I didn't seem happy enough and like the first response that was edited into the video was what is it um, because immediately prior to filming that I was having a panic attack like I was crying it was really bad I was in an awful state and then June came in the room as I had tears going down my face and he was like, I made you food for my channel. Uh, you gotta come eat it and try it. And I was like, if I don't go film it, then I'm gonna ruin his video. He spends so long on the June's Kitchen videos. Uh, there's food out there waiting for me. It's probably getting cold and starting to look worse. It needs to look nice for the video. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and try to go out there and like pull myself together and film a happy video. And then I went out and I, opened up or he opened it up whatever it was and it wasn't even food I didn't I thought he made he told me he made me food and it wasn't even food so I was like what is it and then I tried my best to like not be surprised panicking and it didn't go well and people hate me because of it now and it's it was honestly a really really bad experience for me I felt so awful reading everything that people were saying about me after that, I cried so much <laughs> from that. Um, but anyway, nowadays I don't want to film a video unless I'm in the right mood. And that means sometimes we have breaks in our videos that are several months long because I'm just dealing with stuff and I'm just not in the right state of mind to film myself and put it out on the internet. Anyway, things are better now. We are filming a video. I think it's a funny video. I hope it goes <laughs> I hope it goes well. We'll see. How in the world did they buy and design a house? Did they also work in other jobs besides YouTube? I mean, you would have to be a millionaire to make this happen, right? Question mark, question mark. I have a question. Thinking face. Yes. For that question too. Yes. So designing a house costs more than, like in general? Like costs so much more? I have no idea what it costs in America. Okay. Here it's pretty wrong. What were you saying is like the average people spend building a house here? I didn't, I haven't done research, but I think like it can start from what 20 wait 20, 250k 250,000 dollars i i don't think it's that horrifically expensive to build a house here definitely not a million dollars we are definitely not millionaires we have not put a strong focus into like making money on our channels this year in 2020 we accepted one sponsorship for the entire year across all of our channels it was Wasn't with it two? Panasonic. Panasonic and NHK. And then the NHK one, which was not real. It was for our, um, well, yeah. <laughs> for our nonprofit, Fukuoka for Sustainability. Since we are now building a house, we are going to be accepting more sponsorships um, because if we can make a company pay for our mortgage, I think that's better. <laughs> That's the best way we could do it. You guys know us. I don't like interrupting our content with sponsorships. I want people to just enjoy our videos when they watch us. So I hope you'll be a little patient with us um, these next few months as we try to pay off some of our mortgage by, <laughs> by accepting sponsorships. I'm personally not interested in still like working with really weird, strange companies though. Like probably play this mobile app game in your videos even... about cats. Here's a detox tea. Can you like send this to your subscribers? No, we're not doing those. <laughs> yeah, I still like to work with the companies we like to. Mm. Mm. Here, I'm gonna add a new question that I'm sure we'll get in the comments on this video. Okay. Rachel, why don't you let June talk more? The last question? Yes. Uh, it's because I'm Japanese and I can't speak English well and then I didn't prepare for this video. It's sokyo, how do I say it? It's like a jazz, there's no music note, you just do it as you... June's improv... <laughs> You're improving? It's difficult and then it's your language. It's very easy for you to answer all the questions. So she did it for me. Why put effort into making videos when you can just sit here and let your wife do all of the work? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I will officially return you. You're gonna uh, marry me again? Because I did all the you work? You are very useful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a useful wife. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All See right. you guys later. Bye. Bye.